Hey guys, how's it going? Well, Windows 11 is finally here. Sort of. So ahead of the official launch, a leaked build of the upcoming preview of Windows 11 has apparently gone live and I have it installed on my PC right here. Now from what it seems, Microsoft has done some major UI overhauls while keeping everything else quite similar to Windows 10. So what all are these changes? Let's find out. This is Vernon from Guiding Tech and you're watching my first impressions of Windows 11. Let's get started. Alright, so first up, let's quickly walk through the setup here since Microsoft has really beautified it quite a lot. The process is the usual, you set the region first and then the keyboard layout, after which if you're connected to the network, the setup will check for updates. Then you can choose to set it up for personal or work purposes and then log into your Microsoft account. You can choose to create an offline account if you want, but in that case, some features are going to be limited. Then there are the ad policies following which Windows will ask you about your interests, about personal ads and then quickly set up OneDrive if you choose to and that's it. Bam, you've booted into Windows 11. Now the first thing that you can see here is that the taskbar has been moved to the center. Personally, I like it quite a lot. It looks symmetrical and goes with the design language. The start menu in itself is also super clean now. The live tiles are gone, thankfully, and instead you have a clean shelf where you get the pinned apps on the top. You can now scroll through the pinned apps, rearrange them by simply dragging them and shift them between pages. As for the entire app list, just click on all apps and you get a list of all the apps installed on your PC. Below that, you have the recommended section that will show you the recommended apps, recently opened files and folders and similar stuff. Now we also have a new search bar here which opens up in a pop-up window and again looks very, very cool. Of course, there are similarities with the Windows 10 search menu, but I would still say that this one looks pretty neat and kind of refreshing. Now, interestingly enough, a lot of folks did not really like this centered UI for some reason. I, mean, I guess everyone has their own taste and thankfully Microsoft does understand that. Basically, you can just right click here to open the taskbar settings and change the position to left, you know, just like Windows 10. And the changes are reflected on the start menu as well as the search bar. So you'll feel just at home coming from Windows 10. Now, one of the new features that Windows 11 has added is this button that you might have noticed already which is the widgets section. This cleanly lists out your weather information, the market stats, sports scores, and news based on the interest that you can set in your Microsoft account settings. Again, this seems like a very neat way to represent all your information. Now, personally, this just reminds me of, you know, the gadgets section in Windows 7. Now, adding on to that, I feel that while the widget section here is already pretty good, I just wish that Microsoft opens it up to third-party developers so you can add custom widgets here as well. Kind of just wishing for something, but yeah. Now, speaking of wishes, one of my biggest expectations from Windows 11 was to have something new in the UI elements, something to be excited about. And well, Microsoft has delivered to some extent. Windows 11 follows a rounded corner scheme which looks really subtle and attractive. You also have these new icons here for desktop, downloads, pictures, videos and such. And this looks really neat. Now speaking of rounded corners, the tiles inside the action center are also slightly revamped and look very good. Also while we're on the topic of looking good, Microsoft has some pretty good default wallpapers for Windows 11. You get this default spiral action here, but switch to the dark mode and it looks just as good. Other than that, there are other wallpapers such as Glow and Keyboard 2. Honestly, I love this Glow wallpaper. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Tell you what, like this video right now and I'll leave a direct download link to all of the wallpapers in high resolution. Now, one thing that I really love about Windows is how it promotes multitasking. Now, we all use cascading windows or basically pinning our windows on the sides to, you know, have two or three multiple windows open at the same time on our desktop. Well, with Windows 11, that just becomes a little bit easier. So here you can just right click or better yet, just hover over the maximize button and assign a pin position for it. Now as such, you have predefined allocations based on half and half, 60, 40, 50, 25, 25, which is basically one big window and two small windows. And finally, four equally sized windows. Now I find this a very nice touch. Now speaking of multitasking, here's the new task view button. The UI here is nice and the old timeline feature on Windows 10 is now gone, for better or worse. You get this different UI when you Alt plus Tab between windows 
And best part here is that creating new virtual desktops is a lot more easier now, with the option being a lot more wider and easier to access. Lastly, there are a couple of new sounds as well. As you saw, there's this new fancy boot animation along with a login sound. Windows also has new sounds for various notifications, defaults, alarms, and even while shutting down the system. Sounds good, and if you want, I can leave a download link for all of this down there as well. Speaking of downloads, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, you know, where's the download link? Let me download and install this on my system. I'll just hold on. See, here's the thing. That build, that leaked build that I'm talking about, that has come from a rather untrusted source. See, unless you're entirely sure of running it on your own system, I would suggest just stay away from it for now. Me personally, well, I have it running inside a virtual disk on my PC using Hyper-V, which is why some of my resources are limited. And that's the reason why you won't notice any windows, error or transparency effects here. That being said, my system is definitely far more secure. And the best part here is that this virtual machine runs inside Windows 10 without the need for any third party software. I mean, if you guys want, I can make a dedicated video on a tutorial on how to use Hyper-V inside Windows 10 to just create your own virtual machines without downloading any third-party apps. And yeah, you can use it to test Windows 11 test builds, Ubuntu or any other OS you want to try out. Anyway, those were my first impressions of Windows 11. Now, it's not to say that is all because it's not. See, here's the thing. As good as the design changes are, that's not where the list ends. In fact, I feel that this build was leaked kind of on purpose. Now, I know that's a very bold statement to say, so I'll just say that it's my opinion. But here's the thing, hours, not even hours, I think just an hour after this leak was circulated on the web, Microsoft itself tweeted out this thing that this is just the start and there are a lot of more features that you can expect at the official launch event. So yeah, it's clear that Microsoft has a lot up its sleeve. So if you are into Windows 11, make sure that you watch their full event. And after that, make sure to come back to our channel and check out our review and our installation guides and our list of entire features and everything new because we will be doing dedicated thorough coverage of Windows 11 too. Which is why I would advise you to subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell notification icon to get notified for whenever those videos along with some other great content also goes live. Lastly, if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and yeah, go ahead and download those new wallpapers, man. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech. And I'll see you in the next one.